Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 246 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. This one is so awesome. It's really easy to make and it is called The Web We Weave. And the written pattern is free on my website so you can go check it out at yarnutopia.com. This one is so fabulous though. We're making a solid granny square in the back. I'm using two colors, black and white, so you can obviously see I'm using black back here uh, and I hope you can see my stitches in this project because of the black but uh, you just make a solid granny square in the back and then in the front we're making another layer and we're making a web over the top and I think this is so fabulous we're working with front post double crochets and for those of you who like to practice your chaining method we are working with a lot of chains today making this really cool design so it's really awesome like I said I'm using two different colors my solid black color for my back side uh, background is just plain black and then my web color is white like a spider web but you can make this in any colors you want I think this would be really cool if it was in um, different colors bright colors and if you made a bunch of these squares um, you know you can make them in all different colors and make a big blanket connecting these smaller squares together it would probably be like an optical illusion it would be so fabulous so uh, make sure you're checking out those links so in the description of this video and I'll give a bunch of ideas on my website for you to use this uh, pattern you can make this square bigger it's just an increase of your chains each round and you can make your solid granny square in the back as big as you want so you can make this as a bigger square you can go on to making it 12 inches or even up to a big blanket that'd be so awesome so check out the link in the description of this video I'm gonna demonstrate this on an H size hook but you can use a bigger or smaller hook whichever one you want to prefer to use but I'm going to just demonstrate it with the H hook and you're going to need a scissors and a yarn needle just because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends uh, when we use our you know changing of the colors and everything and just weave in our loose ends also um, there are other links in the description of this video so there's also a link to my Facebook and Instagram make sure you share your photos hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia so I can see your work check out the link to the 365 days of granny squares also uh, you'll get all the squares in there and the uh, at the bottom of that blog there's also a list of the ones that have written patterns available to you so you can click those and check out the other designers that have participated in this project so far you can also uh, find me on snapchat make sure to snap me a photo or a video of anything you crocheting today or this weekend um, and then also I have to say a really big thank you to my dad, Fuad Azmat, for taking the time to make this video with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button and hit that little eye in the corner of this video over here and support us in any way you can so we can keep bringing you fantastic crochet tutorials. And thank you to those who have already supported Yarn Utopia. You guys are the best. So let's get started and make number 246 granny square. Let's start by making a slip knot, and we're going to be using our dark yarn first, our background yarn. So put your short end over your long end, then fold this down and pull that through and pull tight. I'm hoping that you can see my stitches with the black yarn, um, but if you can't, you can always just make a solid granny square. But what we're going to do is chain four, so yarn over and pull through one, two, three and four and now we're going to come all the way to the first chain way over here and make a slip stitch to form a ring so go into the first chain yarn over pull through and pull through the loop on your hook just like that so we've created a ring but if you know how to start with the magic ring you can start that way as well but to go on to round one we are going to start out with a chain four so yarn over and pull through one yarn over pull through two, three, and four. And that counts as the first three chains count as our first double crochet, and then the next chain counts as our chain one space. Now we're going to double crochet and chain one seven times into this ring. So a double crochet is yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a double crochet. 
Then we need to chain one, so yarn over and pull through one. And then we're going to double crochet back into the ring. So again, yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Then chain one, so yarn over and pull through. And again, yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, let me get that hair out of there. <laughs> yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And then chain one. Okay, so that is three. This is four. Chain one. Five. Chain one. Six. Chain one. Seven and chain one. So now if you have to count back to make sure that you have eight stitches including this chain up four here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, you wanna have eight and then make sure you have that chain one before you slip stitch to the beginning. We are going to slip stitch to the third chain of our beginning chain four here. So one, two, and three. The third chain go in yarn over and pull through and through. Okay, and that was round number one. Going right into round number two, we are going to slip stitch into this chain one space. So go into this chain one space, yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain up three. So yarn over and pull through, one, two and three. And that's going to count as our first double crochet of this round. For round number two, we are going to do a basic uh, solid granny square stitch. So in this chain one space, we are going to make our first beginning corner and that is two double crochet. So yarn over, go into this chain one space that we just slip stitched and chained up three in. Go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. And again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. For our corner, we have to chain two, one and two, and in that same space that we're working in, that same chain one space, we're going to put three more double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So one, two, and three. We're gonna skip over this double crochet right here, and in this next uh, d uh, chain one space, sorry, we're gonna put three double crochets in there. So one, two, and three. Now in this next chain one space, we're going to make our next corner. So we're going to put three double crochets, one, two, and three. Then we're gonna chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna put three more double crochets in there as well. One, two, and three. Now in the next chain one space, we have to put just three double crochets for our side of our square. One, two, three. Then in the next chain one space, we're going to make our next corner. So we're going to put three double crochets, chain two, and three more double crochets in the same chain one space right here. So three, then two chains, <laughs> and then three double crochets, just like that. Now in this next chain one space, we are going to put just three double crochets one, two, three. And now in this next chain one space, we're going to put our last corner. So we're going to put three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets in that same corner. Okay, I'm kind of going a little faster here. We're almost done with this round and I've done this already showing you. So now in this last space right here, we are going to put three double crochets and then we can go on to round three. So for round three, we have to slip stitch to this beginning chain of three right here, one, two, three, go in, yarn over, pull through and through, 
and this is what it should look like. So for round three, and three, four, and five are exactly the same. We're just going to chain up three, one, two, three, and we're going to just double crochet into each stitch all the way around, and in the corner chain two spaces, we're going to be putting two double crochet, so one and two, then chain two, one, two, and then two more double crochet, so one and two. Okay, and those are our corners here and throughout. So two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. But then we're just going to double crochet into each stitch on the sides. And then in the corners, we're putting two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. Then we need to slip stitch to the very beginning, chain up three. And then we're just gonna chain up three and then double crochet into each stitch around. And in the corners, put two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet. And we're gonna do that for rounds three, four, and five, okay? So if you need to, you can follow along with a written pattern. Or if you want to, you can check out granny square number two um, and make, you know, a solid granny square. I'm not gonna show you this whole you know, all five rounds of this. But if you wanna make a solid granny square, we just need a plain solid granny square for the backing of this square. And then uh, we will go on to making the spider web. So when I finish round five and I'm ready to fasten off this part, I'll meet you up with my new color. My Actually, I'm gonna use white, so no color at all. And I'll meet you up when I finish round five and we'll go on to making the spider web design. All right, so here I have finished round five, and when you finish to fasten off, what we're going to do is slip stitch to the beginning, chain up three, so go into the top there, yarn over, pull through and through, and then to fasten off, we can chain one and cut this yarn, pull it all the way through and pull tight, and there you have our background for our spider web. So now you need to grab your spider web color if you're using, I'm going to use white, um, but you can use any color. I think this would be kind of cool in just like any bright colors or any color really. Uh, so what we need to do is look at your square like this and we're going to start in the center here and you can see our chain one spaces from round one. Okay, here. We are going to start in one that's on a side. Okay, right here, okay? Not in any one that has a corner with the three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochets. We're not gonna start there. We're gonna start in one that's in, on the side, okay? Right here, where there's three double crochets in here. And we're going to work into the center ring right here. So go in to the center ring, go out this um, chain one space here, Okay, just like that. Then we're going to hook on, you can kind of fold this backward, I guess. Hook on our new color and pull that down into the center ring and up. Okay, just like that. Now we are going to chain five. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, and five. And what that counts as is the first three chains count as our first double crochet, and then the next two chains count as our chain two space. Now we are going to go over here to the next chain one space over here, okay? We're gonna go into the center ring and then out that corner space right here, okay? We are going to or I'm sorry, we have to double crochet. So we have to yarn over, go into the center ring, go out that ch uh, chain one space, okay, where that in round one, there's that chain one space where the corner is here. Then we need to yarn over and pull through the center ring, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. And we're gonna do this all the way around. So chain two, one and two, okay? Then hop to the next chain one space right here. This one is on the side. So go in, yarn over first, sorry. Go into the center ring, go out that chain one space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, 
and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Then chain two, one and two, then yarn over, go into the center ring, find your next chain one space from round one right here. Okay, go out there, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops, then chain two, one and two, yarn over, go back into the ring, yarn or go out of this next chain one space here, yarn over, there we go, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Then chain two, one, two, yarn over, go into the center ring, go to the next chain one space right here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and chain two. And then do that for these last two spaces here. Yarn over, go into the center ring, go out this next chain one space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, chain two, yarn over, go back into the ring, go out this chain one space from round one, okay, is our last space here, last free space, and make your double crochet, then chain two, okay, this is what it should sort of look like so far. So now we need to slip stitch to the third chain of our beginning chain five. Okay, so count one, two, three. Right in this chain here, we're going to go in, then yarn over and pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook, just like that. Whew, there you have it. Round one is done of the web. So now, going on to round two, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be much easier now from here on out. Uh, we are going to chain one, and we are going to make a front post double crochet around this chain of three right here. So yarn over, go into this chain two space from this side, around this chain of three to this side of the chain of, or this chain two space here, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two more loops. Okay, that's a front post double crochet. Now we are going to chain three, so yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three, and we're gonna hop to the next double crochet, so right here, we are going to put a front post double crochet around that. So yarn over, go into this chain one space around the post to this chain one space, then yarn over, pull that through, okay? Yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. That's a front post double crochet. Then we wanna chain three, one, two, three, and just repeat this all the way around. So front post double crochet around this next stitch. Then chain three, one, two, three, and front post double crochet around the next. So just do that all the way around, and then I'll meet you up for round three of the web. All right, so once you're finishing round two of the web here, we have to chain three, one, two, three, and then slip stitch around this beginning front post double crochet. And to do that, basically just go into this chain two space from the back, okay? And then yarn over and pull through and through, okay? That's basically how I attached to my beginning. Then chain up one, okay? And now we can go on to the next round. So it's already taking shape, looking like a web, looks really cool. So now going on to round three, we're going, we going to basically repeat round two, except we're going to chain 
th um, four in between our front post double crochets. So make a front post double crochet around this stitch here, so yarn over, go into this chain two space around to this chain, or chain three space, sorry, to this chain three space, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Then we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Okay, and then chain four, one, two, three, four, and then front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Okay, and then just repeat that all the way around. So chain four, and then front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. And then I'll meet you up for round five. Sorry guys, I meant I was gonna meet you up for round four. I don't know why I said five. I think it's all these chaining and I was chaining four, so I was thinking round five, I don't know. Anyway, we are going on to round four now. So I chained uh, my last four here and we are going to slip stitch around this beginning front post double crochet. So like I showed you to before, I just went into this chain four space right here and then yarned over and pulled it through and through. Okay, and then chain up one. Okay, now we're going on to round four and we are going to front post double crochet around this front post double crochet right here. Okay, and then we're going to now chain five. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, four, and five. And then hop to the next front post double crochet and front post double crochet around that. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then front post double crochet around the next, okay? And then we're just going to repeat that around, and then I'll meet you up for round five, and we'll go on to making more of this web. All right, just finishing my last chain five space here and then we want to slip stitch around this beginning front post double crochet so again go into this chain five space around it yarn over pull through and through and then chain up one okay so now we're attached going on to round five we are going to front post double crochet around this front post double crochet and then chain six so one two three, four, five, and six, and then yarn over, front post double crochet, around this next front post double crochet, and then chain six, and then front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, then chain six, and front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, <laughs> and just keep doing that all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and then front post double crochet. So just do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up for round six. All right, finished my last chain six here. Now we have to slip stitch around this front post double crochet. So go in behind this chain six space right here, yarn over, pull through and through. All right, so now going on to round six, we need to chain up one and then basically repeat the last round except chain seven in between your front post double crochets. So front post double crochet around this front post double crochet, then chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. And then just chain seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, and then I'll meet you up for round seven. All right, I made my last chain seven here, and then we want to slip stitch around this front post double crochet, so go in from behind it right here into this chain seven space, yarn over and pull through, and pull through that loop on your hook, and then chain up one. And now, going on to round seven, we are going to be repeating exactly what we're doing, just doing a one more increase, chaining eight in between our front post double crochets. So front post double crochet around this front post double crochet, 
then chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet, and then just chain eight, and then front post double crochet around your next front post double crochet, and then I'll meet you up at the end of this round and we'll be done increasing and we can go on to our last round. All right, now I just made my last chain eight space. We want to slip stitch around this first double cro or front post double crochet here. So I'm going behind this chain eight space, yarning over and pulling through and through. Okay, then uh, if you want to, you can chain one here. Okay, and now we are going to attach this around our square. So if you want to at this point, um, just kind of pull this out for a second, uh, you can stretch this out, make sure that these lines, uh, these lines line up. So this line that we are, our starting line, basically our first front post double crochets that we've been working on where we fasten or we slip stitch to, that will be on this side and then these two on each side of it are going to be in the corners, okay? So if you need to stretch this out a little bit, make sure that it hits the corners nicely, um, nicely when it's stretched out like this. And if it doesn't, you can go on to making another round, just chain nine in between your front post double crochets. You can make this as big as you want. You can go on to making this bigger and bigger. Uh, just make sure that your background square is as big. And then once you are ready to attach this to your background, just make sure that this is, um, this fits uh, you want to stretch this out a little bit. I had to do a lot of trial and error seeing how far um, I needed to go for this web to fit around this square, but this one works for me. So like I said though, if your tension is tighter or looser, you may have to do less rounds or more rounds to make this fit in this uh, square, this rounds that we did five rounds of this black square. So we want to make sure that this fits in there. So to do that, you want to make sure that you have an odd number of stitches on this side. So let's count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. So find your center. So it should be number 11 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So this is my center. So we want to start one left of the center. Okay, so this is my center stitch. So we're going to start here. Okay, but we're actually going to be hooking on the white and connecting the two layers. Okay, so how to do that, we are going to go into, so we chained up one here, we're going to go into this chain eight space, and then into that number 11 stitch, that center stitch, uh, or one left of the center stitch on this side, okay? We're gonna go into that, so we're going to um, crochet these two layers together, and we're going to single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through both layers, yarn over and pull through two loops. Then go back into this chain eight space, and into the next stitch on your square background, yarn over, pull through both layers, okay? Yarn over and pull through two loops. Go into the chain eight space and into this next stitch on the square, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so I'm going to be doing 10 single crochets. So that was three, this is four, next stitch, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll have to stretch this a little bit, pull it over, nine, and 10, okay? Now, when you get to the corner, you want this front post double crochet to line up with your corner. And we're gonna go into the actual stitch, the front post double crochet stitch, go into there and into your corner, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops, then chain two, 
one, two, and put another single crochet into that front post double crochet and into the chain two corner space in both layers, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops, just like that. Now we're going to work in this chain eight space and single crochet into the next 10 stitches. So go into this chain eight space, go into this next stitch here. Okay, that's our first single crochet. So next 10 stitches, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and stitch 11 for me is my center. So the center stitch gets this double, this front post double crochet, go into the front post double crochet stitch on your web, then go into your middle stitch on the side and then yarn over, pull through both layers, yarn over and pull through two, just like that. Then we're going to go into this chain eight space and we're going to single crochet into the next 10 stitches, so pinning this down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and just like I showed you the other corner we're going to work this front post double crochet stitch in the corner so go into this front post double crochet stitch and into this chain two corner space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops then chain two and put another single crochet in that front post double crochet and that chain two corner space yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so you single crochet, chain two, and single crochet in there. Then we're gonna work in this chain eight space, right here, and work in the next 10 stitches. Okay, pinning this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And once you get to the center stitch on this side, you want to work into this front post double crochet. So go into the front post double crochet stitch and into this middle stitch on the side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And then work in this eight, uh, chain eight space and into the next 10 stitches or the rest of the stitches on the side, just pinning this chain eight space down, working around the chain and into each stitch on your background square, just like this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're at the next corner. So I showed you how to do two of these corners already. Just go into the stitch, go into the chain two corner space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, chain two, and single crochet back into there. Okay, then if you need to, just rewind this to see how I did the sides in this other corner uh, and just finish off this side, this corner, and then that this little bit of this other side here. And then I'll meet you up when I'm finishing up my square. All right, finishing up my square, I just had to put a single crochet in this front post double crochet and into the last stitch on the square. And then when you're finished, you just want to slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round. So right in here, go in, yarn over, pull through and through. And now we can fasten off. So chain one, cut your yarn, pull it all the way through, pull it tight and sew in all of your ends. And there it is, number 200 
and 46 granny square is complete that was easy fun and easy square you will need to probably block this square um, or just stretch it out like crazy to make it sure that it gives that interesting web design but there it is I love it so much. Make sure you're checking out those links in the description of this video. Link to the blog, link to the Facebook, link to the Instagram, and check out the written pattern on my website, The Web We Weave. And there you go. But you can make this in so many different colors and make it bigger if you want. So check that out on the blog and share your photos. I want to see what colors you choose. If you choose the traditional spider web design or if you choose different colors, I think this would be awesome in an like a big blanket like an it would turn on to be like an optical illusion it would be so fantastic so share those photos today everybody have a great rest of your day happy hooking